Hi guys, welcome to the other channel. I'm about to buy that we have guys yesterday. So today we'll be looking at this uh, strategy right here, which you can use to trade the step index and also trade the uh, the boom and then the big indices. So this strategy right here, we'll be looking at it and uh, one of the crazy strategies you can use to make money trading the uh, trading on static indices. So. You can see we have a running trade here on the five hundred dollar account and it's already been growing to a six thousand dollar plus which you can see right there now this strategy right here i want you guys to make sure you uh watch this video to the end so if you don't miss anything about the strategy and also if you are new to the other channel don't forget to subscribe like and turn on your post notification and if i post this strategy you guys will be aware and I could see a lot of people asking me to create a video on the step in their strategy and yeah this is the video for you so if you want us to manage your account based on your equity no matter how small or big your equity is just contact us right away for account management and you can see these are our words of contact at the screen so you can contact us for account management or you can check our description below to contact us on WhatsApp for account management uh we have our terms and quality for account management and uh, we've seen the terms and then if you agree with the terms then we are going to manage your account for you so with that being said let's quickly jump into the strategy right here so uh this strategy here yeah, guys this strategy here yeah, guys so let me show you guys settings for the strategy before we dive into how you can make use of the strategy okay so the first thing we want to do is just on your main chart click on the f plus so when you click on the F plus then search for your moving average and then click on it. And the first moving average that we need this is the parameters. The parameters are going to be period of 65, the shift is zero, the method is simple, apply to close and the style. We are going to be using the uh, red color, you can choose any color of your choice. So when you set up like this, then click on save and you are good to go. So the next indicator we are going to be adding is going to be the moving average. So we click on the F plus again, search for your moving average and click on it. Uh, the parameters of the second moving average, the period is going to be 10, shift is 0, the method is exponent, is simple, sorry, apply to close and this time I'm going to use the blue color, you can choose any color of your choice. Now, to set this up, this is how it's going to look like this, how it's going to look like, the indicator is going to be in your main chart, the indicator is going to be in your main chart. Now, the next indicator we are going to be adding, is going to be in our indicator window 1, but to add indicator that is going to be in our indicator window 1, we click on the F plus, and the main chart and we set for our stochastic calculator click on it and then this is the parameters the k period is 10 the d period is 1 the straight period is 1 also the price speed is lower than high method is simple the style is not necessarily and the levels we need the 20 and the 80 levels so when you set stuff like this then you can save and you are good to go now it's going to be listed in the indicator on the one okay now the next input we are going to be adding is going to be the ichimoku now click on the indicator on the one f plus and search for your ichimoku and click on it and this is the parameters for the ichimoku the period is uh the parameter is going to be the technician is 9 the congestion is 26 and the swan b is 52 and the style we only need the technician style which i'm going to be using a blue color you can choose any color of your choice now when you set it up like this then click on save and you're going to have your ichimoku right in the chart uh, the last but not the least indicator we are going to be adding is going to be the moving average. Uh, this is the parameters for the moving average. Click on indicator on the one F plus and search for your moving average. Click on the moving average and this is the parameters. The period is going to be 20, the shift is going to be 0, the method is simple. Uh, apply to previous indicators data and then this time I'm going to be using the red color. If I choose any color of choice, so we set it up like this and click on save. Now you are going to have all the settings you need for the strategy. You are going to have all the settings you need for the uh, strategy right here. Now, to make use of the strategy is very, very uh, simple to make use of the strategy right here. To make your strategy. Now, this is the first thing you have to take note of. This is the first thing you have to uh, take note of. And this, uh, this strategy right here can give you multiple entries. Multiple entries, which you can see. Now, the first entry that we have right here, the first entry we have right here is this entry, which is the sniper entry, and the second entry is right here. 
and the third entry is right here why are we choosing this area as our entry why now the first entry was uh was entered because of what of, because of some things right here you can see on the indicator on the one we have this achimoku line which is the blue line touching the 80 levels of the stochastic oscillator when touching the 80 levels of the stochastic oscillator we want to see the moving average line which is the red line crossing above it we crossing above it and also remember the moving average also has to track the 80 levels so when it touches you want to see a crossover when you see that then you want to also see that this uh blue line which is the blue moving average right here also grow below the price also go below the price so it means that the price go below and uh, it go above the price right the moving average line which is the blue line go above the price and the price come below it when that happens then that is a confirmation for a set trade okay that's confirmation for a set trade now you have entered one position and you are looking for another opportunity to take for entries for yourself now you have to wait for this second line this second moving line right here which is the red line also crossing above the blue line and the, the blue line move below it with the price go along with the price you know this is a set direction and you will see this uh this red moving and we crossing above it when you cross above it that is where the second opportunity is we take another cell right there we take another cell right there and then we wait we hold ourselves now if you want to take another entry right here the third entry is going to be that when the price touching the red line when touching the red line that is a direction for a cell and we are closing our positions when it's reaching the 20 levels of the stochastic oscillator when the Ichimoku line and the moving average line touching the 20 levels of the stochastic oscillator that is when we are going to close our position same thing for a cell same thing for a buy so same thing for a buy same thing for a buy we wait for all the criteria to meet right here which means that the Ichimoku and the moving average line touching the 20 levels and it cross over each other when cross over each other then you want to see the price moving above the moving average the blue moving average line and which means that the moving average line seems to go below it and it crosses and it go below it then that means that we are expected to go for a buy now we enter for a second buy when it's touching the what touching the uh the line the red line when you press touching the red line touching the red line that is when we are going to go for another entry so as simple as it is as simple as this strategy is it's also you two or the step in there so let me show you how let me show you how, how you guys are going to make it your strategy to take trees on the step uh in this right here so now this what we need to see sorry this i don't want to load now this is what we need to see right here before taking any trees on the uh step in this is you can see it's almost got us out now the first thing you want to look out for first thing you want to look out for right here which you can see now let's see you want to go for a cell you want to go for a cell now the first thing you want to see is that you want to look into our indicator on the one and see our confirmation which means that the uh it's moving and the moving average line is touch the 80 levels of the stochastic oscillator and also cross over and the red line also cross up below the blue line above the blue line sorry which means that the blue line will go below and the red line go above it so when we see that the next thing we want to see is that we want to see the uh the blue line crossing above the the price which means that the prices go below and the blue line go, goes above the uh, above the price uh sorry guys so same thing for a set same thing for set that's all the confirmation you need to see and uh, you also that is the confirmation you need to see before taking any entries and if you want to take another opportunity then you have to wait for the confirmation to be made okay so that is that on that guys that is that on that guys and same thing applicable for the uh for the uh boom and crash indices same thing okay for the boom and crash indices so use the strategy as uh, explained and then make sure you better the strategy figure out how this strategy is going to make your own trading system before you start using a strategy to take trade and you also use the same method that we use to take trade with strategy and go along with uh what we explain guys so 
I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on post notification. And if I post new strategy, you guys will be aware. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.